there, Megan Elizabeth from ByMeganElizabeth.com, founder and creator of She Makes Club. Excited to use some texture paste today and these really cute little keychain cups to make some mock latte, cold brew coffee, uh, pink drink kind of thing from our favorite coffee place. <laughs> I found these really cute coffee cup, plastic cup keychains. And I'm trying to work in the classic green straw into the opening. It's not working, but I have other ideas. It comes with this little white straw. Um, these little plastic coffee cups are so cute. So what I did, and I started recording, or I started making before I started recording. So I'm going to kind of walk you through, um, hopefully give you all the information you need to be able to create your own. So what I did, I took the end of this paintbrush and I dolloped out some texture paste. This is the Ranger Texture Paste Opaque Matte. And I just used a uh, my Cricut spatula and the end of a paintbrush to dollop some out and create some different um, highs and lows textures. And I'm making like a whipped cream topping. So for the pink drink, I used the cotton candy paint, uh, cotton candy stickles. So they're a fun, bright pink, um, glittery color. And then I'm doing one that's white. And then these other two piles here, I left them white, but I did take a drop of butterscotch um, Ranger alcohol ink. And I just kind of dopped it in and then kind of mixed it around, but I didn't blend it in. I just kind of mixed it around to give it like a caramel kind of look. Um, and I think it looked really cool. So these are going to be like my whipped cream dollops. We'll get to that in a little bit. So I did those first. Then I started mixing up my two-part resin epoxy. It's a one-in-one -one mix. Um, and I start in a big Dixie cup, and then I put it into my blending cup. And I need to blend it for a full three minutes pretty slow. So I kind of did you guys at, like, warp speed for that whole three minutes. Because <laughs> nobody wants to watch me slow stir for three minutes straight. But that's the epoxy that I'm going to need for the whole thing. And so what I'm doing is taking one of the cups and drizzling that cotton candy stickles inside to kind of make like a pink drink variation. So now what I'm doing is taking the clear epoxy and I'm adding some opaque white um, resin add-in. And I'm also adding in shell pink alcohol ink. So I'm kind of like going back and forth doing a few drops of the white, a few drops of the shell pink, and then I decided to add a little bit more like that strawberry look and I used some pink taffeta stickles directly into that resin. Um, and so as I'm like mixing it and kind of playing with it, I'm just kind of seeing how it looks and I'm going to pour it right into what is my plastic keychain kind of pink drink cup. So now that it has like a soft white pink, I'm going to add a few more drops of that shell pink uh, just directly and I'm not going to blend it, but this is going to kind of create that natural blended look where you have the different highs and lows versus blending everything all in. So you can kind of see that separation up there on top and it's great. And I'm just going to set it aside and I'm going to let those dry. I did cut up that green straw and I stuck it directly into my little piles of um, fake icing. <laughs> so now what I'm doing is I'm doing the darker coffee colors. So what I'm doing is taking some of the gold additive, I'm taking some of the white additive, and I'm using the color teak wood and uh, espresso alcohol ink and just very lightly blending in and then dripping in a few drops of that white to hopefully again give me that cream and coffee blend and now I'm going to take that little dollop with the butterscotch um, on there and I'm going to just stick it in top and I'm hoping this is going to look very close to a caramel latte when we're all done but we'll see I, I stuck the lid on I'm going to use the epoxy um, as its glue and now I want this cold brew to look even darker so I'm adding espresso alcohol ink and I'm hoping to make this one a lot darker so I kind of keep adding ink and playing with it I decided to pull out a few stickles you can see it's still light so I'm throwing in more of that espresso color ink and I'm blending it in the bottom because when you think of a cold brew or at least when I think of a cold brew it's it's almost layered really dark to light. So I'm doing that same kind of technique where I'm doing the white opaque, but I'm not mixing it in. I'm just drizzling it along the outside um, 
and hopefully it's going to create a really fun look. Now I decided, okay, I want to flatten this out a little bit. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger because what I'm going to do is take all that's left over and I'm going to use this red solo cup like mini, like the shot glass size, and I'm going to cut the solo wood cup or salt, not solo wood, haha, solo cup away and see how that turns out. So we'll get back to that in a second. I want to finish this cold brew and I'm just plopping some of the uh, texture paste on top. I'm letting some of that espresso color run over top and I'm throwing a few stickles in and I'm going to put the lid on this as well and hopefully the epoxy that runs over will seal up. So now I'm taking all the rest of the epoxy, filling up the rest of this cup. I'm going to drip in some of that white and I want to make sure I have enough texture paste to really go over the top here. And this is really cool because what you're going to start seeing with everything that's left, um, I'm going to drip in a little bit more of that white uh, opaque and a few more of that gold opaque. And you're really going to see that start to um, play. So what I did for this pink drink is I did put the lid on. And I decided to put the whipped cream on top of the lid and let it finish setting on top of the lid with a little bit of epoxy um, on top of the lid as well. So it's a little bit messy, wear gloves, um, and I'm doing just a little bit more of that stickles just to kind of even it out. And I have the classic green straw uh, sticking out of the top of that. So now I'm going to add in a few more sparkle lights into the other red solo cup and kind of mix and blend those in. Hopefully you'll kind of see them uh, poke out. And then as I add in even more of that white, which is like acting as my milk or cream, you're going to really start to see that um, react beautifully. And I need even more texture paste for this guy, which is totally fine. I'm going to make like a bigger, wider base. I'm just using the end of a paintbrush, but you could use you know a popsicle stick or whatever I just clean everything up when I'm done and I am actually using a Cricut spatula um, to kind of touch it up and, and keep the edges kind of clean as well so I wasn't really planning on recording this I sat down and started playing and I was like well I'm just going to turn the camera on and I absolutely love how these turned out I decided to try to stick the whole straw in did not like how that turned out but you can really see that it, when I did that, the colors really started reacting. And I'm like, oh, this is going to be, this is going to be awesome. So I'm going to let that set up a little bit, let it react. And then I'm going to stick that texture paste with the butterscotch blended um, lid on top. And I'm actually sticking in a little, um, like a screw in type uh, keychain. I'm just sticking it right into the texture paste to allow it to set in there. And here is that reaction of that white opaque mixing with the alcohol ink and the resin. And now that it's dry, <laughs> I let it set overnight, um, more than 24 hours. Um, I'm grabbing just my Cricut craft knife and I'm going to cut away the plastic of this red solo cup. So we're going to see how it, it, how it turns out today. Everything should be all set. Um, you should see a lot of gold, a lot of that espresso, and this can either sit on its desk or it does have a little uh, keychain finding hook to it that I can attach a full keychain um, as well. I'm just cleaning up the edges with the um, knife and these are all dry and set and I'm absolutely in love with how they turned out. You can really see the highs and lows of the different colors. The stickles in the pink drink look fantastic. The whipped cream looks perfect. Let's take a closer look at each one so you can really see and appreciate all of the highs and lows. The caramel latte on the far left turned out perfect with the texture paste, that butterscotch ink in the texture paste, the teak wood ink, and a little bit of that gold and white add-in. Those color separations are perfect. That ice cold brew has a lot more of that espresso alcohol ink and those tea dye stickles, as well as that white opaque add-in and some texture paste as well. Pink drink is so perfect with the cotton candy stickles. The shell pink ink. It's just all so great. I really hope you enjoyed watching today. I had a lot of fun making these. I will leave links for everything, including inviting you into our She Makes Club where you can tell your story and make a life you love with us. And if you would, please like, subscribe, and share. Enjoy the moments. Bye-bye.